Good day students, welcome to mathgodserve.com. In this clip we're going to be going over question 1 of our solutions to the solving quadratics by factoring quiz. If you'd like to gain access to the entire test, just look in the description below for the link. Alright, let's take a look at question uh, number 1. The instructions are for us to solve the quadratic equation. Solve the given quadratic by factoring. Okay. Alright, so let's say we have the equation n squared plus 6n minus 16 equals 0. So the, the goal here is to solve this given quadratic equation by factoring. This is a quadratic trinomial because we know that the highest degree is 2. Alright, so let's go ahead and rewrite the question n squared plus 6n minus 16 equals 0. Now what we want to do is factor by grouping, but we have only three terms to the left. Okay, if we take a look at the left side, there's only there are only three terms there. So we need four terms in order to factor by grouping. So in order to do that, we need to play a, the X game. We're going to use the X game to find two terms that we can replace the middle term with so that we can factor this quadratic trinomial by grouping. Okay? So to get us started, we need a, b, and c. Since this is already in standard form, written in descending order of degrees and set equal to zero, we need coefficient for each variable. So for n square, there's no number in front, so the default coefficient will be one. That will be a, and then b will be positive six, and then c will be negative 16, okay? So a is one, b is six, and C is negative 16. Okay, now we're going to go ahead and play the X game. So we're going to have AC on the top, and then B goes on the bottom. So AC is negative 16, and then B is 6. Now we're going to figure out two numbers that multiply to give us negative 16 or add to, and add to give us 6. Okay, so let's write down the list of uh, integers that multiply to yield 16 and see which one will um, generate a sum or difference of 6. So we have 16. What numbers multiply to give you 16? We have 1 times 16. 2, 2 goes into 16, yes. 8 times 2 times 8. 3 doesn't go into 16. 4 goes into 16 4 times. So we have a complete loop. Now let's look at our parents. Which of these pairs can yield 6 when you add or subtract? The first one can give us 17 or 15. The second one can give us 10 or 6. Voila! That is the pair that we need right here. 2 and 8. Okay? Now we're going to insert that into our X game. So we're going to have 2 and 8. Now we'll, let's resolve the signs. In order for the sum to be 6 and the product to be negative 16, the smaller number has to be negative. Alright, so we're going to insert these two numbers into our quadratic trinomial. Remember, we're replacing the middle term with these two numbers. So we have n squared um, minus 2n plus 8n minus 16. Equals zero. Okay, now we'll break it down the center and factor by grouping. Now you look at the first two terms and you place your partition right after the first two terms. Okay. Now we're going to factor by grouping. We're going to decompose every single term and then we're going to factor the first two and the last two. So let's go ahead and decompose each term. Uh, n squared can be written as um, n times n. So n times n minus 2 times n, and then 8 can be broken down into 2 times 2 times 2. You can break that down using your factor tree times n, and then 16 can be broken down into 2 times 2 times 2 times 2. All right, you can just use your factor tree. So for example, 8, if you take out 2, you have 4. Take out 2 from 4, you have 2. 
and then with 16 follow the same procedure to break it down. Okay, so let's go ahead and group. For the first two, we're going to group them like this. And then for the second, um, to the right, the last two terms, notice that we have a positive here. So when we place a parenthesis here, there are no sign changes that happen because if you distribute plus to a minus, you end up with minus, okay? But if this sign were negative, when you place the parenthesis here, this sign will change to the opposite sign. All right, so for the first two, what's common? N and N are common, so we're going to factor that out. That's a common factor. We have N. So when you factor out a term, it is as though you are dividing by that term, okay? So we factored out N, so we're going to divide this N that we factored out goes into this n once and this n that we factored out goes there once and we're left with n minus 2. Now let's take a look at the right side of our partition, this next two terms, bring down the middle sign, we're going to do exactly the same thing, okay? So what's common <coughs> in this um, two terms to the left, to the right of the partition? We have a 2 and a 2 here, that's common another 2 and a 2, that's common, and then another 2 and a 2, so it's 2 times 2 times 2, which is 8, all right? So when we factor that out as 8, what we have done is we basically divided these two terms by 8. All right, so if we factor out 8, we're going to divide by 8, so if you divide these two, three 2's by 8, so 1, 1, 1, 2 times 2 times 2, that's 8, and then 2 times 2 times 2, that's 8. Those ones become all 1's because we factored out an 8. From both sides, 8 is equivalent to 2 times 2 times 2. So that's why the product of three 2's were taken out in both sides of the right side of the partition. So what do we have left after factoring out or dividing out the GCF, which is 8? We're left with n minus 2. Okay, equals zero, so forget that, we're dealing with an equation. Now take a look and make sure that everything is looking good. We're looking good here because, we'll do a real quick check, the quantities in the parentheses are identical. So n minus 2 and n minus 2 are identical, so that means that we're doing things correctly. All right, so now what we're going to do is we're going to proceed to factor out these common factors, n minus 2. So we'll factor out n minus 2. Let's change the color. We'll factor out n minus 2. And when we factor out n minus 2, it's as though we divided both sides by n minus 2. So when you take out these two n minus 2s, what you're left with is n plus 8. It's exactly what we did initially when we were factoring out the greatest common factors from both sides of the partition. So we're left with n plus 8. And that n plus 8 is grouped together. In its nice little parenthesis, n plus 8, which is equal to 0. All right, now we have accomplished the complete factorization of the quadratic trinomial, but the question asks us to solve. Now, to solve this, we're going to use a special property known as the zero product property. Okay, so we're going to use the zero product property. So use the ZPP or zero product property. All right, so the zero product property basically says that if you have a product of two terms and you get zero as the product, then either the first is zero, so either n minus two is equal to zero, or n plus eight is equal to zero. Okay, so we just simply solve these two equations. The first one can be solved by adding 2 to both sides, and the second one can be solved by subtracting 8 from both sides of the equation. So for the first one, we can clearly see that our answer is going to be n equals 2, and for the second one, our answer will be n equals negative 8. So our solutions are... Um, squiggly bracket, negative 8 and 2. Now, if we graph this quadratic equation in, um, 
using a graphing software or a graphing calculator, we're going to see that the y intercepts, um, the x intercepts, sorry, the x intercepts will be negative 8 and 2. So let me just illustrate that for you real quick. We're going to look at the graph of um, n squared plus 6n minus 16. All right, so let's graph it with our uh, TI. We're going to be using a TI-84 graphing calculator to graph it. So you just press um, the Y button from the home screen. Press the Y button right here. And then you enter the quadratic equation, just the left side. So X squared plus 6X minus 16 is what we're going to enter. So X to do square, you press the caret button above clear, the clear button. X. <coughs> Let's take it out of alpha mode. So x raised to the second power plus 6x minus 16. The only variable that the calculator accepts is, accepts is x. So we're replacing the ends with x, okay? So x squared plus 6x minus 16, enter, and then graph it. And then there you see the graph. Now these two intercepts, the x intercepts, represent the solution. So our solutions are negative 8 and 2. Let's see if that's what we have here. So to verify, you just press trace and then enter the first zero or the first solution, negative eight, enter. Bam, right there. You see that? That point that's flashing shows that the first solution is negative eight. And then the second one is two, press two, enter, right there. Okay? So we can see that our answers are correct. So let's go ahead and sketch what the graph looks like based on what we saw from the calculator. So based on what we saw from the calculator, if we graphed it at the values of um, 2, so let's see, this is 2, positive 2 right here, and this is positive 2, 2, two negative 2, negative 4, negative 6, negative 8. This point right here is negative 8. All right, so from what we graphed, we have our parabola, which is a graph of quadratic functions, going down to 2 and then it goes down and then it ascends right back up to 8, negative 8, and goes up forever. All right? So from the graph, we can see that our solutions, the first solution is negative 8, and the second solution is positive 2. Okay? So this is basically how you solve uh, quadratic equations by factoring. All right, let's go ahead and box our answer. Thanks so much for taking the time to watch this presentation. We would like to know what you think. If you found the contents of this tutorial helpful in, in, in your studies of uh, solving quadratic equations, do give us a thumbs up. Your positive feedback is very valuable to us. If you have any questions, comments, or special requests for math tutorials, just place it in the comment section below, and we'll be more than glad to respond. Don't forget to subscribe to our channel for updates to other math tutorials such as this. Remember to check the link in the description to gain access to the quadratics quiz. More tutorials and support resources can be found at our math website, mathgotserve.com. Do check it out. Thanks again for watching and have a wonderful day. Goodbye.